They may be small and sweet, but blueberries are at the heart of one of the most advanced food production systems on Earth. Welcome to Green AgriWorks, your source for uncovering how innovation transforms agriculture. In this episode, we explore how nearly 1 billion pounds of blueberries are harvested and processed annually in North America using precision AI technology. Gone are the days of hand picking. Today, over the row harvesters shake berries from branches while advanced conveyor systems transport them through washing, sorting, and packaging, all under the watchful eye of AI-powered scanners. These machines detect size, ripeness, and even tiny defects to ensure only top quality berries reach consumers. We'll also compare cultivated versus wild blueberries, from their growing cycles and harvest methods to their flavor, nutrients, and market destinations. Plus, you'll discover how freezing technology preserves berries for year-round use and how automation reduces waste and labor demands. Beyond the factory, we'll consider the environmental, economic, and human sides of blueberry farming, revealing the full picture behind every packaged berry. If you care about where your food comes from and how it's made, you're in the right place. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Green AgriWorks, and turn on notifications so you never miss a story from the future of farming. While both cherished for their sweet tart flavor and health benefits, cultivated and wild blueberries are strikingly different in how they grow, taste, and are brought to market. Cultivated blueberries are grown in carefully managed fields, primarily in North America, with major producers including the US, over 700 million pounds annually, and Canada. These berries grow on taller bushes arranged in neat rows and benefit from drip irrigation, fertilizer schedules, and pest management systems. Their uniform size, milder flavor, and firm texture make them ideal for large-scale processing and fresh retail. In contrast, wild blueberries, also called low-bush blueberries, are smaller, grow closer to the ground, and thrive in naturally acidic, rocky soils, particularly in regions like Maine and Eastern Canada. They're not planted, but managed through field burning and pruning to promote regrowth. Wild berries are often harvested using rakes or gentle vacuum harvesters. Nutritionally, wild blueberries tend to have higher levels of antioxidants due to their higher skin to pulp ratio. Flavor-wise, they offer a more intense, complex taste, making them prized in baking and premium products. However, their irregular size and limited volume make them less suited for mass retail. In short, cultivated blueberries dominate in volume and visual appeal while wild blueberries lead in nutritional density and niche culinary value. Understanding the unique traits of both helps explain their roles in the broader blueberry economy and how they complement each other in global food markets. Harvesting blueberries on a large scale relies heavily on over-the-row machines, massive harvesters that straddle the bushes and gently shake ripe berries off their stems. These machines are capable of collecting thousands of pounds per day significantly reducing labor costs and increasing efficiency. However, they also introduce challenges. The vigorous shaking may bruise the fruit, and the lack of selectivity means unripe or overripe berries often get collected along with the good ones. To minimize damage, modern harvesters now incorporate soft catch surfaces and adjustable vibrations. These upgrades help protect the fruit's delicate skin and improve post-harvest quality. Additionally, new technologies like ripeness sensors and gentler collection bins are being used to fine-tune the harvesting process. Despite the prevalence of automation, farmers remain essential to the system. They monitor weather conditions, assess optimal harvest times, and manage machine calibration. Their knowledge ensures that machines harvest at peak ripeness and avoid fruit loss. Farmers also play a critical role in maintaining the health of the fields year-round pruning, fertilizing, managing pests, and preparing for the next growth cycle. Moreover, in areas where machine harvesting isn't ideal, like slope terrain or for wild blueberries, manual labor is still used. Human pickers and rakers step in to ensure precision and minimal fruit damage. In essence, while machines may dominate the fields during peak season, it's the farmer's expertise that drives the success of every harvest. What about you? Do you think machines could ever fully replace farmers in the harvesting process? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspective. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to Green AgriWorks, 
and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our upcoming stories. Once harvested, blueberries begin their next journey inside large-scale processing facilities. Here, thousands of pounds of berries arrive in bulk containers and are loaded onto conveyor belts that carry them through a meticulously designed multi-stage cleaning system. Each stage is essential for ensuring the fruit's freshness, safety, and appearance before it reaches consumers. The process starts with initial shaking and sorting, where vibrating platforms separate underripe, overripe, or visibly damaged berries from the high-quality ones. These machines rely on precision sifting to reduce waste while preserving speed. The remaining berries move on to a spray wash phase where high pressure jets of water rinse away dust, soil, and plant debris. To ensure thorough hygiene, some facilities also employ sanitizing solutions like ozone or food grade chlorine in their rinsing steps, especially for berries destined for freezing or long distance shipping. Once cleaned, the berries enter the drying tunnel where gentle air currents remove excess moisture. This step is vital for extending shelf life and preventing mold growth. Throughout the process, AI-powered sensors and vision systems continuously monitor quality, detecting color, size, and surface blemishes in real time. Berries that don't meet the grade are automatically diverted off the line using air jets or mechanical flaps. This high-speed, high-tech operation ensures only the best berries advance to packaging. Transforming a chaotic pile of fruit into a refined product ready for markets around the world. After washing and drying, blueberries enter one of the most advanced stages in the production line, AI-powered automated sorting. This phase revolutionizes how blueberries are graded replacing manual inspection with cutting-edge computer vision and machine learning systems. As the berries move forward on mini conveyor belts, they are separated individually, ensuring each fruit passes through high-resolution scanners. These AI detectors analyze multiple characteristics in real-time. Ripeness, color, size, shape, and surface defects such as bruises, cracks, mold, or insect damage. The scanners collect thousands of images per minute sending the data to a centralized system where the AI algorithm determines the quality grade of each berry. Once evaluated, the system uses precise mechanical arms, air jets, or flaps to direct berries into their appropriate categories, ranging from premium grade for fresh markets to lower grades used for frozen goods or puree. This process not only guarantees accuracy, but also maintains gentle handling to prevent damage. The benefits of this technology go beyond speed and precision. It significantly reduces human error, cuts labor costs, and minimizes product waste. Moreover, consistent grading boosts consumer satisfaction, ensuring that only uniform, high-quality fruit reaches the shelves. AI-powered sorting is a clear example of how smart automation enhances both efficiency and sustainability in modern agriculture bridging the gap between traditional farming and next-generation food technology. Are you impressed by how AI is used to sort fruits? Do you think AI can detect ripeness more accurately than humans? If your answer is yes, type 1 in the comments or share your own opinion with us. I'd love to know what you think. Once blueberries have been sorted by quality, they move on to the packaging and labeling phase a crucial step that ensures the fruit reaches consumers in optimal condition. At this stage, advanced machines take over the process, combining precision, hygiene, and efficiency. Packaging machines are programmed to automatically weigh and portion blueberries based on preset quantities, ensuring consistency across every unit. Whether destined for fresh produce aisles or frozen storage, the berries are placed into plastic clamshells, punnets, bags, or boxes, depending on the market destination and shelf life requirements. To maintain freshness, the packaging process is highly sanitary and time sensitive. For frozen blueberries, this includes an additional freezing tunnel step where berries are rapidly chilled to 18 tonnings to preserve flavor, nutrients, and texture. Next comes labeling, where machines affix tags with key product information, weight, origin, variety, expiration date, and barcodes. This not only aids in supply chain tracking, but also complies with food safety regulations. Automation in this phase minimizes contamination risk, reduces labor dependency, and boosts throughput, essential for meeting growing global demand. 
The entire system is designed for speed, traceability, and freshness preservation. Whether enjoyed fresh or frozen, every blueberry package starts its journey here, neatly sealed and clearly labeled, ready to deliver peak quality from factory to table. After packaging and labeling, blueberries are distributed to a variety of consumer markets with two primary destinations, fresh consumption and frozen processing. A large portion goes to fresh markets such as supermarkets, grocery stores, and local retailers. These berries are typically delivered within one to two days after harvest to ensure peak freshness. They're enjoyed as healthy snacks and are commonly used in breakfast bowls, yogurts, and salads for their sweet flavor and vibrant color. The remaining volume is directed to freezing facilities, where the berries undergo rapid freezing at below 18 degrees. This process preserves their nutrients, texture, and flavor, making them ideal for long-term storage. Frozen blueberries are widely used in smoothies, baked goods, sauces, and prepackaged frozen meals. In addition to fresh and frozen formats, blueberries are also turned into value-added products such as jams, juices, dried snacks, and nutritional powders. This diversification allows producers to reach both health-conscious consumers and industrial food manufacturers. With increasing global demand for antioxidant-rich superfruits, blueberries have solidified their place in both everyday diets and premium food products. Whether eaten fresh, blended into a smoothie, or baked into a muffin, blueberries continue to shine across the food landscape, fueling a thriving international industry. Do you enjoy eating blueberries? What's your favorite blueberry-based dish or snack? Let Green AgriWorks know in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new episode. Behind the sleek automation of AI-powered blueberry facilities is a workforce that remains crucial to the industry's success. While machines handle much of the sorting, packaging, and labeling, human labor still plays an irreplaceable role. On the farms, workers supervise machine harvesters, assess fruit ripeness, and maintain equipment. Their experience helps minimize damage and ensures only the best berries make it to processing. During peak season, hundreds of seasonal workers may be hired, underscoring the industry's ongoing dependence on manual labor. In processing plants, operators and technicians manage the AI systems. Despite the speed and precision of automated scanners, human inspectors perform the final quality checks, often spotting defects that machines overlook. Staff are also responsible for software oversight, equipment maintenance, and handling system glitches in real time. Automation has shifted labor demands rather than eliminated them. Workers now need training in technology and machinery operation, opening new job opportunities while requiring upskilling. Ultimately, people remain at the heart of blueberry production. Their adaptability, judgment, and hands-on knowledge complement the precision of AI, ensuring that every package of blueberries is not only efficiently processed, but meets the highest quality standards before reaching consumers. While blueberry farming is often seen as low impact, its environmental footprint varies significantly between cultivated and wild varieties. Cultivated blueberries demand intensive resources, irrigation, fertilizers, and pesticides that can contribute to soil degradation, water pollution, and biodiversity loss. Large-scale monoculture fields replace natural habitats, reducing ecological resilience and increasing pest vulnerability. In contrast, wild blueberries, primarily harvested in regions like Maine and Eastern Canada, are not planted but managed. Growers use low-impact techniques such as biennial mowing or controlled burning to stimulate growth without relying heavily on chemicals. This approach preserves native biodiversity and reduces input use. However, rising demand has led to more mechanization and land clearing, which still carries environmental trade-offs. Inside processing facilities, AI technology and cold storage improve efficiency and reduce waste but require continuous electricity, adding to the industry's carbon footprint, especially in areas reliant on fossil fuels. To mitigate these effects, some farms are turning to solar energy, water recycling, and eco-friendly packaging. 
Still, the path to sustainability requires more than technology. It calls for a deeper alignment with ecological principles in both cultivation and processing. From field to factory, the journey of a blueberry reveals a world of innovation powered by both nature and technology. Smart harvesting machines, AI-powered sorters, and precision packaging have helped the industry meet growing demand while maintaining high standards of quality. But beneath the automation lies a deeper story. The comparison between wild and cultivated blueberries highlights the shift from natural ecosystems to controlled production. At the same time, the roles of farm workers and factory staff remind us that behind every algorithm are real people making real decisions, ensuring that each berry meets the mark. Environmental concerns also add complexity to this picture. While efficient, large-scale production raises questions about resource use, energy consumption, and sustainability issues that consumers are beginning to care about more deeply. As we embrace AI and automation, we must also reflect on their long-term impacts. Do these advancements make food systems stronger or do they create new vulnerabilities? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment below and if you enjoyed this journey into the world of blueberries, give us a like, subscribe to Green AgroWorks and turn on the notification bell because the next story of food and farming might just surprise you.